Hello and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a parabola. So in drawing a, parab a parabola, there are two major things you are going to need, which is the span and the height. That means the length from this point to this point, and then the height, that is the length from here to here. So let me call this point A, B, C, and then point D. You know, you don't have to save us time. That's why I've gone ahead to draw what is looking like a, a rectangle now. So, like I said, it's the span. So, for this particular one, I use um, 12 centimeter, and then the height is 6 centimeter. All right. So, now let's... The next thing you have to do now, since if you have drawn your rectangle like this, what is looking like a rectangle based on your span and your height, the next thing you are going to do is you are going to divide this AB and um, CD into 12 equal parts. We are going to divide it into 12 equal parts. So in doing that, since we already have this to be uh, 12 centimeters, it is much more easier to divide. So I already marked the point, so you can just divide it into at one centimeter apart into 12 equal parts. So I've drawn these vertical lines. So let me call the center. So this is the center. Let us, let's call it point E. Now then this part here, yeah, we are going to number it in this order. So let's, this is going to be five, four, three, two, and one. If you see the order in which I number, this is one, two, three, four, five. So the same thing from line A, D, and line B, B, C. We are also going to divide it into six equal parts. So we are having so in numbering this, we are going to be numbering in this order. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we've done here, we are going to repeat the same thing here. So this is going to be 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1. While on this part, you divide this line B into five, uh, 6 equal parts. So this place is going to be 1, 2, three four and then five so those are the points that we are going to need better. so that means we are going to have one two three four five they are already in six equal part this is one two three four five six i hope that is clear so if you are finding value in this video already please give it a thumbs up so the next thing we are going to do is from this point e from this point e we are going to draw a line that will touch five four three two and one on this part also to touch five four three two and point one so let's do that so from point e i'll draw a line to come and touch five same with four So then to the last one here. So what we've done on this part, we are going to repeat the same thing at the right here. So from point E, we draw a line from point E straight to point 2. From point E straight to point 3. E straight to point 4. E straight to point five. So once we've got to this change, uh, to this stage, now we are going to note this line one, where it is touching this line that is touching one. We are going to note those points, and this is it. Look at this line where I have one, this line one, and this line one that is going to E. Their point of intersection, you note it. Same thing as point uh, line two. This line here represents line two. This particular line here. The one I've just covered with the pencil represent line two. So now we have this other line two that is going to point E intersect with this line two. The point of intersection, you note it. So the same thing with three. This is it. And then for four, this is line four. This is the line from point four on this particular line AD going to point E. So let's note this point. For five, this is five, and then for then plus this. So what we've done here, the same thing we are going to do here. So in noting those points, so let's start from one. So this is line one and line one here. 
So line one and line one. This is the point of intersection. This is for two. So this will be for three. So once you just follow it like that, and then for four, this is line four. This is the line coming from four. This is the point of intersection. This is that of five. So now if you are at this stage, what you are going to do is you are going to join all those points together from this point A and also from this point B. So we are going to be joining it together. So once we join it together, either with your French curve or whatever you, are, uh, you want to use to join these points together to form the curve. So that is going to give us a parab uh, parabola. So I'll be using my French curve. So you have to make it bold because that's what we need, the parabola itself. So we already have one side of it. So we already have one side of it. So let me complete this other side. So as you can see now we already have a parabola. We're looking very neat. So, so if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And before you go, in the next part of this video, which is going to be popping up at the end of this video, somewhere here, it's going to be popping up here, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a tangent to a parabola. So if you have a parabola, how do you go ahead to draw a tangent or a normal, a tangent or a normal on a parabola? That video is going to be coming up immediately after this video. So make sure you watch it to the end. Then if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please, please click on the subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So just click on that subscribe button, it helps the channel to grow, but on your side is absolutely free. And also on the, click on that bell icon beside subscribe button so that you get notified when I release any video. And if you have any question, any comments or any video requests, do leave them in the comment section below. And also in the description, also in the description of this video, I'm going to be leaving a link to other videos like how to draw a cycloid, epicycloid, you know, hypocycloid, how to draw an hyperbola, an helix, and how to draw a tangent. So just check the description of this video so you'll find a lot of helpful video or you can check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos there that will help you if you are new to technical drawing or engineering drawing. So I'll see you in the next video which is how to draw a tangent or a normal to a parabola which is going to be popping up right here. Alright, so see you in the part 2 of this video.